Develop and deploy a web service to PCI. In this section, we will demonstrate how to provision a database from the PCF marketplace. We will use Eclipse to create a new Spring Boot application. We will discover how to leverage auto configuration to bootstrap your application. We will create your application's manifest YAML file. We will build your application using the, the Gradle plugin within Eclipse. We will deploy your application using the CF push command and we'll monitor your application in PCF and send requests to it using Postman. Provisioning a SQL database from the PCF marketplace. In this video, we'll demonstrate selecting and provisioning a SQL database from the PCF marketplace. We'll also bind the SQL database service to our application. You'll want to log in to your PCF console and navigate to the org and spaces which you have created. In this case, I am in my packet demo org in my development space. Next, click on services. Next, click on add a service. You will see here there is a list of available fully managed services. This, this is called the PCF marketplace. We have a few different options for, for fully managed MySQL databases. We have ClearDB and we have Elephant SQL. Well, Elephant SQL appears to be Post PostgreSQL. We're actually going to choose this ClearDB MySQL. So go ahead and click on this and select the, the free. Be very careful, make sure to select SparkDB free and then click select plan. It'll, it'll then prompt you to create a name for your instance and please click on any name, uh, select any name. I named mine MySQL. So now we have our ClearDB MySQL database provisioned, and it's literally that simple. It is just one click to provision a fully managed database in the cloud. We didn't have to do any installation work. That is one of the big benefits of Cloud Foundry is the fact that they have this marketplace model where companies that install Cloud Foundry on premises they will install tiles or these managed services so that way the de developers within the company can provision these managed services without having to involve DevOps or anything like that. And, and the resource allocation is handled automatically. So again, this is PCF at work in the back end with, um, with the Diego brain helping us to allocate resources for fully managed services in Pivotal Cloud Foundry. So one thing we can do is usually with these marketplace services, when we click on them, we'll be able to see a little bit of information here. But if you go to the right, the upper right side, you will see a manage button. And if you click on the manage button, it'll take you to the console for this managed service. And go ahead and click allow. And what you will see is that here you'll be able to basically get some information, particularly with ClearDB. One of the things you can do is it'll show you how to download the MySQL Workbench. So if you want a visual editor to sit on top of your database so you can view the data that's inside, you can select one of these methods below. And of course, here is all the connection criteria also in certificates. So that's how to view the ClearDB dashboard. Okay. So we've created our MySQL instance. We've seen how to manage it through a portal. And finally, what we we'll want to do is we'll want to make sure that it gets bound to an app. So in this case, my, I have bound MySQL to my app Customer1XYZ. So if we go back to the development space and we look at Customer1XYZ, we'll see that it's bound. If I, like, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and unbind the service and then bind it again. You may want to be careful though, that if you bind, um, to be clear, if you bind a service to an app in the console, you will have to restage your app or CF push your app again. So that way the credentials for the database get injected into your application via the VCAP services runtime argument. Okay. So here we have our customer web service that talks to an instance, to a fully managed instance of MySQL from the Marketplace Store, and we are good to go to persist data to our customer service. To recap, in this video, 
we showed you how to select a suitable data store from the marketplace. We chose the space that we wanted the, market, the, the database to be available in. In our case, it was the development space. It's worth noting that these databases available in the PCF marketplace are fully managed. We can bind an app to a marketplace service, but only if that app and marketplace service are in the same space. When an app is bound to a service, PCF passes the credentials to the app via the VCAP services runtime argument.